Welcome back everybody. I'm back with just one fruit today. This is Anona reticulata, also known as custard apple. These are very uh, rare to find as far as ordering them online. I do have a tree from Laura Farms that it, San Pablo is supposed to be a very productive, high fruiting tree. So I'm glad to have it, but I went ahead and got these um, fruit. These are San Pablo fruit that um, luckily enough, I'm going to be able to taste it probably another a couple of years ahead of when mine is going to fruit. So um, there's other varieties like San or Fernandez and stuff, but I was told that Fernand, or San Pablo is one of the best ones to get. So let's go ahead and get into it. These are pretty huge. I don't know if you can tell looking at it, but here is, um, I have my scale right here. We'll just weigh it real quick. This one is, Uh, about 20.8 ounces so that's 20.8 ounces this one is 17 this one is 16 so anyways this is the biggest one it actually is pretty soft so I want to go ahead and cut into this one this one's pretty soft too but we'll cut into it and take a look I went ahead and washed this one off um, so we know that it this one is about 20 ounces um, I think this is also called Bullock's Heart or Corazon. Anyways, let's go ahead and cut into it and take a look. This is considered one of the better Anonas out there. A lot of people love these, so this is going to be my first time trying it. So it's got this beautiful kind of rosy pink flesh there. So uh, let me just grab my little magnifier and we'll take a close look at it. One sec. Doesn't appear to have a whole lot of seeds in it. First we'll get a bricks reading and then we'll go ahead and taste it. So let's cut a little section off here somehow. Just kind of break it off. Doesn't have a lot of scent to it. It's not super juicy. Hopefully it's kind of like creamy. Hopefully I have enough fluid there that I can get a bricks reading. It is reading about 22. So let's go ahead and we'll take a bite out of it. It's got this beautiful color though, if you look at it in person, it's almost like a really rosy pink. Little seeds, delicious fruit. Very soft, custardy, creamy. Um, it's a mild grit to it, not much. Almost tastes like a, um, like a raspberry yogurt or something. Like a raspberry yogurt or a, um, almost like a cherry pie, sort of. These little small seeds a little bit smaller than a cherimoya but um pretty delicious i might i might it's almost like i mean you can tell it's a nona or a cherimoya type relative but this one has more of like a little bit of a berry flavor to it or like cherry It's like you're eating sort of like a pie filling <laughs> or a yogurt or something. Really interesting. It's delicious. You can see how, how easy it kind of scoops out like that. <clears throat> a 
a lot of different flavors in this. So, pretty delicious. I love the, the way it looks. It's got a great kind of, it's not chewy or anything. So some people, when they're looking at Anona's, they want like a chewy texture. This is not a chewy texture. It's more like a, a creamy texture, real soft. <clears throat> There's not like segments. There's where the seed, seed areas are. You can kind of pop them out, but it's not like a, uh, maybe like a sugar apple or, or a cherimoya where it's real kind of, it can be kind of chewy or atomoya. So, um, this is more like butter kind of coming off like that. So good experience so far. We've got these other ones to, um, try, um, and get through, but, uh, yeah, good purchase. They weren't exactly cheap. These were around 12 12 dollars a pound so each of them are r roughly around um well with shipping and all for all four of these was like around 87 dollars so if you can imagine these are each about 23 dollars or something each but it's worth the experience um hopefully soon my tree will start bearing so i don't have to really order them but all right guys that's it i'll see you next time take care